Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared and today we're going to go over five knives that have been disappointing to me. Now I tried to pick knives that it's not a functional issue but more so that every model is going to have this issue that I'm having with it. Um, but there is one on this list that did come with a functional issue but I do think that the problem is bigger than just the issue that I have with my knife. Let's get into it. So, the first one was one that is very surprising to me because I really like the profile of this knife and I, I thought that this was going to be a knife that I really enjoyed. This is the Civivi Setos. Now, it's somewhat of a bayonet style blade shape or spear point style blade shape. It does, it's not sharp on this end though. Um, micarta. Steel frame lock, deep carry clip. The build quality is pretty good, but the problem I have with it, and it seems like such a small problem that, that shouldn't have been from the factory. They did lower this down a little bit from the other side. You can see the other side. However, not enough. They should have cut this back. And let me explain why. Um, because it's not just... Um, having poor access because you actually do have a little bit of access. The problem is is that they chamfered this side They chamfered this side and they put the 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 little bit of jimping there or whatever you want to call it the traction But it's counterproductive because you can't get it. So what happens is is you slip So every, when I'm trying to disengage it, I, I'm more slipping than anything um, Now I obviously know that's the issue so it's not that big of a deal and, and I can get by with it just fine but it, it honestly it's something like that will keep it out of my pocket just because I you know I, I like a nice comfortable there's a lot of knives out here so I don't have to settle with one that is kind of, is a little annoying to me now all in all the the knife you know I like the knife I like the ergos um, the cutting could be a little bit better. The blade is not that broad. The geometry is on the okay side. It does get down pretty thin behind the edge, but the taper isn't that far. So it's not going to be the best cutter. Uh, but I do like how versatile it is between the blade and the handle. You can do utility cuts. You can cut straps. You can cut forward. And I, and I like that. Uh, but, you know, it just, it makes it feel like lower quality when I disengage the knife and then the the flipper tab is a little bit on the smaller side it works it does work but it's not a comfortable flip it's not it's also not uncomfortable it's just a little small so you know with that it being a little bit on the slippery side the lock bar being extra slippery when you go to disengage it you know it just it made me not appreciate it as much as I thought I would looking at it and because this was one that I was really excited about when it was being released. Next, now this one, ah oh man, I was really, really hoping to like this one. This is the Tucson TS-344, Mazwan Mokhtar design. Now, the issue with this, I did talk about it in my first impressions. It is detent lash and it is bad like really bad so not only the detent lash but it's also a little bit gritty like i can feel the bearing rolling on the satin finish and so when you disengage it and you close it there's something about it. it feels loose it feels like the blade has got like just a bunch of play but it doesn't but it's the feeling you have when disengaging it then when you close it like that and it clicks back in because it has detent lash so bad you actually feel feel that it feels hollow it feels poor it, do, it doesn't feel good the action is okay the uh, lock bar axis is pretty good but once you disengage this thing it feels like it's broken and i gotta say tucson needs to do something about their quality control i'm almost thinking that they don't have any because there's just been way too many instances where a knife like there's specific models they come out and they, they're always good. Then there's these few, right? The, these, which is, winds up being the majority, actually. They come out and it's like there's something, something up with them that makes it to where it's like, why didn't they address this before they put it into production or send it out the door? Um, but, you know, 
All in all, though, I do like Tucson, and there's a lot of models I really like from them. I mean, there's a couple models that are like some of my favorite knives, but then there's just a whole bunch of them that just feel like they should have never went out the door. Next, the CH Knives 3015. Now this one is extremely aggravating to me. I will not carry this knife. There's no way I'm gonna put this in my pocket and it's specifically lock bar related. This is one of the most difficult knives to disengage. Look how close the lock bar is to the scale. There's nothing, you, it's hard to get to. Like I literally struggle. Like right now I'm trying to get in there. There we go. So what I have to do is I have to get it like this. Why? 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 That doesn't even make sense to me. How did they not see that? I don't care how small your fingers are. There's no way that you disengage us and said that's comfortable. Um, because you're, you, it's like you're trying to catch the edge of this with your skin in order to disengage it. So like I said, I always just close it two hands or, you know, with the reverse grip like that. Um, other than that, I mean, it's a solid knife. It, it's built fairly well. Uh, good looking drop point d2 steel the clip works good in the hand the clip doesn't really bother me too much but man oh man that uh that access to the lock bar makes it to where i would never carry that next i spoke about this one recently this one is the front flipper so i do but really quick i do like the artisan um tylos I think it's a good knife. I think it's well built. A, a Dylan Mallory, I think, does great designs. But this one, they just fumbled the bag, in my opinion. Now, I just don't use the front flipper uh, because I always slip off of it. Because the jimping is just not the kind of jimping that should be on a front flipper. And it doesn't go all the way up and around. Maybe my detent is a little bit stronger than other people's. But, like, right there. Like, even, you know, like, I'm, I skip, like half the time off of it so it's just annoying because i'd like to be able to use it when i carry it i just don't use it i just reverse flick it which is really good the reverse flick and thumb flick works great uh, but you know it's a little narrow in my hands too a little bit small it's not the most comfortable knife i mean it works but it is small in my hand so it just wasn't one after hearing all kinds of hype about it it just it wasn't for me you know um as far as the knife goes however though the one thing though that that bothers me about it is the front flipper and then last now i could pull up a lot of more a lot more knives but we're only going to show five on this list now this one i want to mention i like this knife this one i do like and this is the am8 flex I do really like this knife a lot. Um, I think they did so many things right on this, that, and I love it. The ergos are amazing. The disengagement of the lock bar, beautiful. This is such a comfortable disengagement, and that just makes me like it so much. The drop, very smooth. You have decent reverse flicking action, but this is where the problem comes in. This front flipper, you know what? It's a twofold, but the front flipper, one, the jimping is not very sharp. They should have put sharper jimping on it. It's like very, it's not sharp. Then this is too close. The, the scale is too close to the front flipper. So I wind up skipping off of that and I have to make sure I'm very cognitive of what I'm doing when I front flip it. Uh, but I can do it, you know, and as soon as you know it, you kind of, you know, you improvise and you get by just fine, but it is annoying because it's like, man, why not just put a little bit sharper jimping there, knock this down a little bit, make it to where it, because it wouldn't have hurt anything to knock this corner down just a little bit right there so that you had more access to the front flipper. Now, the other thing is I wish there was a deployment on this side. So there is the reverse flick, but the problem is, is that this fuller is almost that's all you have is that much room so you do have to squeeze in there yes it works yes you can do it but it would be better if it was maybe just a little bit bigger so that you have good access to it you have like i can't get my nail in there you have to use skin because your nail just won't you know you won't get leverage so you have to use your skin to pop it and when that is 
kind of, you know, it's not like the best deployment. Then you have this, which is not the best deployment. It makes it to where it's just, you know, it, it knocks it down a few pegs. But that doesn't stop me from liking this knife a lot. Um, I've sharpened it, you know, it took a good edge. Um, I love the milling on the titanium. It looks really good. It is a good looking knife, but the deployments just, they you know, they slack a little bit, right? Not not the worst, but a little bit, which does make it a little bit disappointing for me. But there you guys go. Five knives that have been disappointing to me. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.